Hi everybody. When we bought our pop-up camper, even though it has uh, quite a bit of storage, we still wanted to be careful of what we packed and how we packed it and where we packed it at. Um, and even though we don't really do a whole bunch of cooking when we're camping, at least over, like over a stove, we still wanted to have something for when we do. Uh, we knew it didn't have to be much, like a pot and a saucepan, maybe a couple different size frying pans would do us just fine. So we went out and to look for them. We didn't want to buy this big pack with a bunch of pots and pans in it, it's things that we wouldn't even need. Uh, plus that's kind of expensive. So we decided, well, let's see if we can buy them individually. But holy crap, pots and pans are expensive, uh, even when you buy them uh, individually. I mean, they're not ridiculously expensive, but uh, they were kind of more than we wanted to uh, pay right now at this point of the year where it's towards the end of the camping season. So I said, well, let's just maybe wait until next year and we'll find something. But then I saw this online. It's a 22 piece camp cook and dine set from Mozart Trail. You can find them at Walmart for like 25 bucks. Uh, look at all the stuff it's got in it. It's got a frying pan and stock pots and lids and it even has plates and cups and sporks. So I thought, well, you know, what the heck? Uh, if, if they turn out to be crappy or we only get a year's worth of use out of them, not out much. It says it's lightweight and compact stainless steel, complete cooking and dining set for four. And the set nests together for compact storage. Sounds just like what we're looking for. So let's have a closer look. Huh? Oh, it comes in a nice little mesh carrying bag. Kind of cool. All wrapped up with all the lids in it, all nestled together. Oh. Cool. Oh, a lot of stuff in here. Seems like a pretty good deal for twenty-five bucks. So, I think I almost got everything out. Okay, well, where to start? Well, let's see, this is probably the, yep, the 5.6 quart stock pot. As you can see, it's a uh, you know, pretty decent size. It fits on my head if that tells you anything so it's got these uh stowaway handles looks like there's one on each side um here's the lid oh so the lid's got holes in it if you can see that so uh if you're cooking something like pasta i can drain it and uh so since it's got two holes two uh, sets of handles on it, you can drain it pretty easy. Well, that's a pretty cool idea. Uh, there's a frying pan right here with a collapsible handle. It looks like you just kind of push these in and put it up and yeah, that's pretty good. So it's a little play in that, but yeah, nice size. Um, Here's uh, one of the smaller pots with, geez, a bunch more stuff in it. Uh, this one's got one set of handles. Um, and that must be the uh, 2.5 quart stock pot. Um, I don't see, looks like that's the only frying pan, but um, Here's the plates, kind of like tough plastic. That's that's pretty sturdy. Those are pretty sturdy. It's 
four of those. Uh, four decent sized cups. Let's say, uh, oh, 12, 12 ounce cups. Oh, those aren't, those aren't too bad. Just throw away and even got lids to put on. I like that. And we got a set of four sports. So, hey, not a bad set of uh, cookware. So, yeah, like I said, pretty good, pretty good deal here. Look at all, all the stuff we got. Oh, don't forget the bag. Now, I don't know how well these will hold up over time. I don't know about uh, using these to cook over a campfire. But uh, I would think they would work pretty well uh, with cooking over a stove. Maybe I'll uh, try them out and, um, over our stove and show you what, uh, how they turn out. Uh, but... Yeah, cool. I like it. So that's the unboxing of the 22-piece uh, camp cook and dine set. Um, just taking it out of the box, I and for the price, I give them a thumbs up.